got BPPV? Well, you came to the right place. My name's Amy. I'm a vestibular physical therapist, which means I treat dizziness, balance problems, and vertigo symptoms. Today, I'm going to go over with you how to properly perform a left Epley maneuver. The left Epley maneuver is only effective if you have left posterior canal BPPV. In order to determine if you have that, well, the doctor's a really good place to start. They can help you determine this. No TikTok video is a substitute for good medical care. However, I did do a video on something called the Dix Hall Pike test, which is a test used to determine if you have BPPV and if so, which ear it's in as it relates to the posterior canal. So go back and view that. If you find that you do have symptoms uh, and signs consistent with left-sided BPPV, you can go ahead and try a left Epley maneuver. Now the objective of the Epley maneuver, no matter which side you're treating, is to uniformly move fluid in one direction to get crystals or debris, debris that might be present inside your ear to go backwards in the canal and then land back into the main sac. It is the most tried and true method, but it is not the only maneuver that's out there. So if you try this and it doesn't work, again, the doctor is a really great place to go. So without further ado, here's the left Epley maneuver. So you're gonna wanna get in bed with your feet outstretched in front of you, leave some space to your right side for rolling and a nice thick pillow behind your back. You're gonna turn your head about halfway or 45 degrees to the left and lay back about as quickly as I just did, tipping your head backward over the back of the pillow. You do need that head to be tipped back and you need to stay still after that. You're gonna be in each position for two minutes because you're allowing the crystals to move and then settle into one position. Important that they settle or else the next position is not going to be effective. After two minutes, the next motion is what I just did. Turn your head all the way to the right. Make sure you don't lift your head away from the bed. Even if you have a ponytail in or you're worried about messing up your hair, you need to keep your head tipped back. Hold this position for two minutes. The next motion is rolling onto your right side and turning your nose down in the bed. Again, this needs to be smooth. Don't lift your head away from the bed. You're going to feel a spinning sensation in each one of these positions because the crystals are in motion. That's normal, hold still. You're gonna hold this position for two minutes as well. Eventually after two minutes, you can move your knees and feet off the edge of the bed, keeping your head rotated to the right, sit all the way up. Once you get upright, you can turn your nose facing forward, but don't tip your head up or down. So after you perform any maneuver, it's really important to keep your head upright. I tell all my patients, pretend like your head is a tall glass of water where this is the top, the crown of your head is the top. You don't wanna spill your water for about an hour or two because you're allowing your crystals to rest on the membrane where they originally lived and that membrane is kind of designed to suction in those crystals and keep them from tumbling around again. After a couple of hours, you should be able to move your head again. Don't be discouraged if you're still dizzy after that. Post BPPV dizziness is really common. And also it is not uncommon to have to repeat the maneuver a few times or to try different maneuvers to more aggressively move it in the canal in order to get it out. In that case, I would definitely recommend going to the doctor.